All right, take a look at these low temperatures to begin our day. We did notice that there were some teens up there in the far northern reaches of our viewing area. 21 in Hallock, 25 Langdon, the Walhalla area, chilly as well. So a hard freeze took place in the northern valley. Then that white line on Hutch's maps here indicate that freezing line, making it all the way to our western counties, Jamestown, starting out at uh, 30 degree reading. Remember, we talked about those clouds last night playing a big role in how low we go. And we got some clouds as we head into our Friday evening, and that's going to slow just how fast we cool down tonight. 49 right now at the airport calm wind and it's near 52 right now at Moorhead's airport. We have cooler weather out in central Minnesota where we have a lot of mid 40s there. It's near 50 for Grand Forks, Cavalier and Langdon as well. The warmest weather is here in southeast North Dakota. Basically, we have near 50 degree readings for all areas. Here is a look at the satellite. We do have some heavier showers of rain in the western half of South Dakota. A few sprinkles showing up on the radar here in our south central North Dakota counties. And when we look across our area, we have hit and miss clouds. We have, uh, well, nothing on the way of rain upstream the way it looks right now. But we do have some wet in that weekend forecast, and it'll be here by daybreak for many. As we set you into motion for your evening, though, get out and enjoy. Bring that light jacket with, but you can leave the umbrella at home for most locations. Any showers out to the west will quickly zip down to the south into South Dakota. Overnight, look at this. Cooler temperatures in our eastern counties. We'll once again see a few areas possibly sneaking down overnight into those 20s. So if you're in Roseau County, northern parts of Beltrami County, get ready for another cold night. But these clouds and showers that will drift in to eastern North Dakota and the Red River Valley by daybreak tomorrow will keep us from getting as cold as we were on this Friday morning. Uh, so we start our day with showers across mainly our eastern uh, North Dakota counties. Out in parts of western Minnesota, we start the day on a quieter note, but colder. Passing showers through the morning half of the day and temperatures that start out near 40 will stick or slowly climb to the upper 40s to near 50 degrees at best. We'll see a little more sunshine across greater Minnesota. And if you want to go take a look at those changing colors out there, it might be a good day to do that there. The shower chances exit here early evening, late afternoon to the south and southeast, leaving us with clearing skies, calming wind for a very cold start to your Sunday. But here's Saturday summary for Fargo. Temperatures will be arising uh, slowly through those 40s. It's going to be sprinkly at times through the morning hours, through the midday hours, and then by the mid to late afternoon hours, those rain chances will continue to drop off. So most areas picking up a tenth of an inch of rain or so, a few getting less than that, a few getting possibly a little more. All in all, it's going to be a gray, cool, soggy Saturday to start Here's a look around the region. A snapshot at 5 o'clock, if you will. Best chance at this time at 5 o'clock for showers will be far to the south. Most areas in the 40s all day, a few of us near 50. And look at this delightful photo. Mackenzie, what a beautiful shot from Bass Lake. Thank you so much for uploading this colorful view. On Sunday, morning temperatures in Fargo will be in the low 20s. Cover the plants. Make sure you disconnect the garden hoses and go through the routine, routine again. After that, Sunday brings a nice little warming trend, and it looks mainly dry and progressive, meaning we'll have fast-moving systems next week. So if we have a chance of rain at all, it's going to be really quick hit and miss. And look at those temperatures, Cali, upper 60s, and even a few lower 70s. Ah, I like fall, but there's a little bit of a roller coaster ride. Hold on with me. We'll get through it. <laughs> I'm liking those 70s. Me too. Thanks, Hutch.